You get some undercut. Uh, so I would say you don't want to forget you need to mark undercut on your two canines too. So we're going to do two classes here as well. To another dental vlog. So today in SIM we started RPD which stands for Removable Partial Denture and this is actually a course that we took while in quarantine so it's been about two or three months since we learned all of this material but now that we're back in SIM it's completely different being able to actually touch and draw and survey. My team this week goes into SIM in the mornings and then I had the afternoon off so I just took a nap and now I'm gonna try and get this done. This is our homework that we have to finish by tomorrow morning and we have to design this cast. So we designed two casts already in class and then now we're gonna do this one. And this, if I'm not mistaken, is a Kennedy Class 3 Mod 1. I low-key forgot my Kennedy classifications already because it has been so long. But now that we're able to do everything in person, I think everything is starting to make a lot more sense. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, this device right here is the surveyor. I'm just using my manual because 
I just want to make sure that I'm doing everything right. This this analyzing rod actually moves up and down so you can basically align it with the different surfaces of the tooth. So first off, I'm going to place this rod at the proximal surfaces of the abutment teeth. The reason for this is to essentially make sure that everything is parallel. If I do need to make any changes, then I would use this screw and then level it accordingly. In here, we actually have different tips and I just realized that I was using the undercut one and not the analyzing rod, which looks like this. Um, so I'm actually gonna change it right now. This is a carbon marker and then we use it with a metal sheath and that will help us to draw our survey lines later. After I've checked that everything is parallel, I'm gonna go in and look at the undercuts. And with this, I basically just wanna kind of look for a little triangle once the rod is placed up against the side of the tooth. Now the next step is to replace this with the carbon marker. And I'm going to make sure I insert it into the metal sheath so that it doesn't break. Okay, and then now using the side of this carbon marker, I'm basically just going to go around the tooth and make sure to mark the height of contour. This is the eraser that we use for the cast. And then once you're done, it should look something like this. So now I'm going to mark the undercuts and this is when I would use the undercut gauge. I feel like a makeup artist. Anyways. This is a lot more nerdy and boring, I guess, but gotta do what you gotta do. It's going to leave like a very, very slight marking. What we're gonna do with this is we're going to mark it with our red pencil. So let me just mark the rest of the undercuts. You might be able to see it, you might not, but I marked it in red. So now I'm going to tripod the cast and I'm just going to mark where the undercut gauge hits the anterior, the right, and the left. So the purpose of tripoding is to make sure that the lab tech can interchange casts. And then same thing, I'm going to mark these in red. Okay, I am going to take a quick intermission because I have a leadership meeting that I need to attend. So we will resume. In a bit. I am back from my meeting and I also did a quick workout with my friends on Zoom and I made myself some dinner. I'm just having pasta tonight. Really simple because I have not gone grocery shopping so I don't have any food left and this is what I put together with everything that I had in the pantry. For the rest of the night I'm just gonna continue working on RPD and finish this cast up and I did add in some more designs as you can see there but I do have a worksheet that I need to fill out and I'm probably going to go over the lecture slides as well just so I can review for tomorrow's RPD session. So that's it for today's vlog. Bye!